There we that. go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, T-Rex. <laughs> Here we go. Here there we go. go. I'm going to put that one in the boat. Oh. oh. What is up? Good morning, guys. Travis here with my boy Big O, Steve Parks. And the name of the game today is Big Worming. Big Worming with Big O. We've got the uh, Mag cutter. the Magnum Cutter. This one's not even on the market yet. It's gonna be released at ICAST this year. And then we've got the 10 inch Thumper. A 10 inch worm, big fish. Big That's worms right. equal big fish, right, That's Big right. O? I mean, look at that. You don't get this big, Big O, by eating the little stuff. The most prolific eater in the lake is the biggest fish in the lake. And the trick is, is if you can find them, you can catch them. Think about that, guys. They don't get big by sitting around and not eating things. So you gotta find them and then throw a meal that, they're, that they feel like they can become a big fish with. Holy cow, that's a great way to start the morning. I hope that is a sign of things to come. Well, this is morning, you know, I mean, it's first thing in the morning and uh, there's no wind, so the water's not very murky. Sometimes in the clearer water, it's a tougher bite, but the, the tilapia are spawning on these sandy, sandy shorelines. And when the wind starts blowing, it starts muddying it up close to the shoreline, the bass will go shallow. And then you can, I mean, you can really hammer them because it just isolates them in that one area. Right now, I'm looking down here and I can see tilapia down here in 16, 12, 14, 16 foot. So we're gonna start out fishing a little bit deeper, but when the wind starts blowing, we're gonna definitely go shallow because the bass will follow those tilapia right up there on the shoreline. Remember, what's that telling me? What's, these fish are telling me something. Sand, buy cryptocurrency. Dude, that's what everybody's doing. That's not good advice. What that fish was telling you is feed me. <laughs> Give me some protein, like a big worm. And so we're just kind of fan casting as we go down this bank and, yeah. and trying to figure out where these fish are holding right now. Sure, and you can fish shallow because you don't. we can't see the brush and the rocks that are down below the surface there. So we're just firing it out there and hoping we hit pretty close to some of the brush that's the subsurface there are some rocks because that's where the fish are, you know, that's basically where they're holding. That's a big How about it? Good. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, Come on. Oh yeah, he's feeling drag. That is a good fish. Yeah, that is go. a big fish. Look at that. Yeah, oh, Look at big. that. Oh, there's some big eyeballs right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> big O, that's big worms. Holy cow, that is not even on the market yet. ICAST 2018 Big O is gonna be releasing these things to the world. <laughs> the Magnum Cutter Worm right there. And then the setup, you've got that on a, a half ounce. Yeah, it's a half ounce, I'm using tungsten. And I also got the weight pegged. You know, it's not really pegged, I've got a weight stop on the nose of it, so that it falls, cause we're fishing a lot of trees. And I want, I want this, this worm to fall down into this brush. It's like some people, you know, they'll use a half ounce weight, let's say like this, and it goes over a limb, and when they pull it over the limb, the weight falls down and goes tunk on your line, you think you got a hit, you set the hook, and actually you just set the hook into a branch. So what Big O's talking about, you guys, this is why you peg. So we've got this little uh, stopper here, so that makes sure that that weight stays with the bait. If you don't have the stopper on here, okay? That stopper wasn't on there. See how that weight slides? So what'll happen is if you come over a branch, you come over a branch and that worm doesn't come over with it, that weight falls down to the side of that branch. So now where you want your bait down, down below, you want it coming over, now it's just caught up on that branch and you're not, you're not staying one with it. You're not being able to work over all those little limbs and stuff. But when you use that little stopper and you come over that branch, that, that weight's not gonna leave that worm. It's not gonna leave it behind. So now it falls down there and you're able to work every little limb and stuff. 
All right, then you got a five a five aught worm hook on there. It's a longer shank. It's a longer shank hook strictly for these big worms. A lot of five aught hooks when you use a when you use a ten inch worm, it looks you know the hooks way up here. That fish has got to get that entire worm in their mouth, you know, and sometimes they eat it from the back end. They got to get that entire worm in their mouth in order to get the hook point. This longer shank hook hides a little further down on the worm and gives you a better hookup percentage. Come on. <laughs> Oh, that is man. a real good one is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at the size of that big oh, 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 big <laughs> The size of that big oh, mic. Oh, come here, uh, come here. Uh, come here, baby. Oh, no, give me a round. Uh, that? <laughs> is that what you came down here for? Yeah! <laughs> big O! Are you kidding me? All right. Go tell us about the difference between the tail you've got there, that more of a twirly little tail, and yeah. more of a little bit of a thumper. Well, obviously we've dipped these and die, but you see this big tail right here? This is more of a swimming action like this. This tail right here is a solid flap. It's a real fast flicker rate. And when it falls down, it puts off a lot of vibration, and it's real fast. It's more of a thump, and this one I would say more of a lazy, like you said, a slender, yeah. sexy. Yeah. It's a, it's a, this a is more a real mesmerizing sultry, that one. Yeah. And that's fast, and uh, and really, you don't have to move that worm at all, and that it starts flapping. So. And so. Hey, this ain't a bad fish. Try. Isn't it amazing how these fish oh. fight? Oh, come here, baby. Come here, dog. Oh, you're big enough, I can just swing you in. You ready? Come on, get in here. There she is. Good old thumper worm strikes again. And that's the great thing about, about some of these Mexico lakes, they're just chock full of quality bass like this. Ooh. You know, I don't think it gets any better than this, boys. How about this, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Isn't that fun? My gosh, what a fish. Let's get this big fat girl back in the water. Thank you, Thumper Worm. Are you ready, girl? Huh? Are you ready? Well, now you're free. Just have fun. about that now isn't that fun anytime you can come down here or get on any body of water and actually find some pattern that's working you know it's we're going through a lot of we're wading through a lot of small fish here 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 and here we just saw a school of 20 small fish like this running together and we were just sitting there looking at them and admiring them and then i saw the little crease up by the point where the, some shallow stuff drops into deep Flip that thumper worm out there, 10 inches it goes down, and he goes bump, bump. Wow, and then it's a war is on, man. It don't get any better than this. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that, whoa, that is a huge fish. Oh, man. Look at the size of that brute. Whoa, <laughs> baby. Whoa. Come here, come here. Monster. Oh, here. oh no. Oh, yeah. Big oh, smokes! 
<laughs> yes, 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 yes. Bingo! We're in Mexico. Buddy, look at that giant, would you? Holy, Bingo, we want to come out and film big worms to catch big fish today. And you said, I know the two baits we're gonna throw. You said the Strike King, hold yours up real quick. The Strike King, the Strike Cutter. King Thumper Worm, and this is the Mag Cutter. It ain't even on the market yet. The 10 inch right there, and this one is the Magnum. This thing is going to be huge. So guys, big O, when you use big worms, <laughs> you get big results. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. All right, I'll be back. I'll see, see you later. Bro. What a terrific deal, buddy. <laughs> Big O, man, thank you so much. Man, it was great, huh? You guys, big worms, you're not eliminating small fish, but no. you are opening the possibilities. Of and big ones. you said a quote earlier today, it's not what is, it's, it's what if. if. And when you're out using big worms, your what if world becomes a whole lot bigger. The possibilities are there. And you guys, try them out. You're gonna you're gonna like the results. Big O. We got more fish than you can get. Yeah, let's go do it. Later, guys.